O'Connor Hydrome Systems, and today's another foundation repair job. Now you see it's rainy. It's pennies from heaven. Now look at this. A universal pin. this job what a pain in the ass the foundation is way too deep you can't even get to it with the arm of the machine that's a 7500 uh, any bigger I would have had to have it delivered and that's a pain in the ass and uh, I wanted my my bridge here done and uh, and so I'm coming underneath isn't that special I don't know what the fuck this is look you got this here so this eventually this collapsed well, this was kicked in, and I don't know, whatever. Now over here, there you got, you got. I tell you, that cinder block corrodes. Look, and your cinder block. All right, there you go. This is no big deal. We're gonna fix this. Wall pins inside, solidify the walls. We're gonna do a gravity feed and no pumps. It's a hard dig because uh, I wanted to save the bridge over the ditch. Whatever. I'll show you when we get this dug out what the gravity feed looks like, where it's going, and the interior system. And the other thing that we're doing on this job is we've got to pour a new uh, garage floor because that was heaving and broken and this fucking foundation is a mess. Okay, this is uh, the end of the day. This is a $40,000 job, but you need to know what's included with that price before you get all crazy, okay? We broke up and are replacing the entire garage floor. We have a Pressure relief system, basement waterproofing, and that is the same area as out front. In here, uh, let's see if we can get a light on in here. You might not be able to see it from the light, but the bottom of the wall has been rotted out. It's moved in about an inch and a half. You have over here, you have who done it and ran Mason originally, because you can see. The mortar joints sort of line up and they're not supposed to. All right, so everything is shifted over here. You can see how far the wall has come in over here, okay? And it's because this bottom block right here is rotted and you can see this one right here. Now this is corrosion. I can put my hand all the way through this block. Right, that's a cinder block or what's left one. When the cinder block rots, the slab can no longer hold the bottom of the wall in. You get corrosion in the bottom block. The walls come in on top of that block. This is wire mesh. Don't know if you see the wire mesh. You put your wire mesh up first, one coat of cement, and then another coat of cement. You've got all these rotted blocks down at the bottom. We did not want to shift the wall out because the blocks are so rotted at this point uh, it would have just crumbled. So instead, 
for filling the block solid, and we will be doing a rough casting over the front, and that will repair the rotted cinder block. Now on the outside, we're going to be putting wall pins in first, and then that's every two foot, and then that gets filled with uh, 5,000 PSI con concrete, and there'll be like two beams and solid concrete going all the way down. The wall will never move. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do an exterior waterproofing system. We will be putting ADS drainage pipe. We'll cover the whole pipe with three quarter inch crushed stone, and then we'll put inch and a half crushed stone up another foot or so. And there's no pumps on this job because we are gravity feeding everything all the way out to the back. So you never have to worry about the power going off. Here you see I have dug down to the footer. The guys are going to dig the rest of this out by shovel. Now the reason I had to dig the trench this wide is so that I could get the machine down here, get over to that area under the bridge and pull all of this clay out and it's and it is clay which is hard to shovel so when you're going to hire somebody for this kind of job absolutely don't go price and be absolutely certain the person that's going to be doing the work has the kind of experience so that when they get to something crazy like this they not in over their head so there you have it we've had an inspection on this it's all good to go we have wall pins from the top down, they go down into the cells, and then we pour solid concrete or we pour 5,000 PSI concrete down into those cells so that now what you have is you have a cylinder with rebar inside of it, every two foot, like somewhat like posts that are gonna support the house and also gonna prevent the foundation from moving in any further. This is one solid sheet of reinforced rubber. What we use is a thick troweled on top. If you were to buy it in Home Depot or Lowe's, uh, it would be called a uh, roof flashing cement. It's that thick shit you got to trowel on, and then this is stuck into it. Flashing cement will actually hold any kind of rot together. And then you've got your rubber on here, solid, one sheet comes across the bottom, and then when I backfill, no water can ever get into it. All right, so we're gonna go down this way. Here you can see the piping that's coming out. This is gonna be connected to the system on the inside. I'm gonna be running four inch PVC from here on out. Let's see what's going on inside. This is the rough casting that we put on. This is actually the first coat. You have to put your first coat on first into the wire and let it cure up and then you can put your second coat over. You can see here that we left the soil out or we left more of an opening here at this footer area because we're gonna fill this with concrete and it's gonna be a, more of a footer to hold up <laughs> the garage, okay? All right, now I gotta get to work. Whenever you get a price for a waterproofing job, you can ask the contractor if it's possible to gravity feed it. If you can gravity feed your system, you don't need a sump pump. You never have to worry about electricity or any kind of backup or any kind of generator. Now this job, the outside system, we have an outside waterproofing system and we have an inside system. It's all going to feed here and it's going to be gravity fed all the way out to the back. No sump pumps. This is a laser level. I have the underground discharge line right here, the PVC pipe. And a lot of guys might think that this is overkill, but I want to make sure that I've got enough pitch on it. I could get a four foot level out here and eyeball it and you know get a little pitch on it but if I don't have enough pitch on this in the winter time and it freezes got a call that their entire system is backing up all of their stuff in their basement is getting destroyed the downspouts are spilling over and icing up the driveway which is easier this or doing all that I love this modern technology this is an automatic leveling laser leveler. You turn it on, spins around, make sure that it's level. You got the laser going around perfectly level. Now you put this little doodad on the stick so when the laser hits it, it gives you the tone. So we'll start over here. This is the interior system. There's no pump. This here is the exterior waterproofing. There's no pump. This here is where all of the downspouts are connected. Right here is the 
top of the putt. All right, you got the tone. Now this is four foot four. Now here, we got four foot eight. So on a 10 foot span, we got four foot eight. Five foot, you got five foot. Now as you can see, the uh, inches go up, so that means the pipe is going down. There's another four inches, pitch down. There's another four inches, pitch down. And then that falls off basically to the cliff. Now this is a gravity feed. I've got plenty of pitch on that for all of the water to drain at the same time. It's four inch PVC, you're never gonna crush that. And it takes, what, 20 minutes to set this up to make absolutely certain that you've got the proper pitch in it. Or, use your hairy eyeball and risk the possibility of a major catastrophe. All right, so that's that. We're all good. This is about $1,000. Start backfilling, get done with this fing job. floors back in you got the rough casting on here it's nice and beautiful uh, we put this on here because the inside of the walls were corroded just as much as the outside of the wall you pavement you're not going to call in a paving guy to re put the paving back in so all you got to do is throw concrete into it and then you can paint it with uh, your regular seal coat this is actually concrete matching up with the uh, paving and you just seal coat it and it looks uh, fine now the homeowner will seal coat the rest of the driveway and we'll be all good to go Everything's been all graded. Actually, uh, grass is growing. It's beautiful. And um, all put back together. Okay, so this job's a wrap. Homeowner. Thank you very much, Dan. You did a great job. Your men are all very, very knowledgeable and polite and hard workers. And I couldn't be more pleased. I hope uh, a lot of people see this and use your services. Today is, I don't know, September 15, 2016. Somebody asks me what I do for a living, I uh, tell them I'm a ditch digger, I dig ditches. That's a ditch. That's what I did.